super yachts and private jets in Los Cabos. Hi, I'm KT Morgan, the host of Cabos Finest, your insider's guide to Los Cabos. In this episode, we're going to look at the largest yachts in Los Cabos. We'll show you who owns them and the jets they use to meet up with these sweet floating mansions. This list will undoubtedly change as we receive new super yachts. Los Cabos and La Paz are the dream destinations for power yachting. According to Yacht Directory, superyachts.com, more than 500 super yachts are currently being built in shipyards around the world. It appears size does matter in the elite world of super yachts, so let's get started. Ricardo Salinas is a prominent Mexican businessman, the founder and chairman of Grupo Salinas. He's the third richest person in Mexico, estimated net worth of $13.2 billion. His super yacht Azteca is often seen in Los Cabos. This is the largest of his many yachts that he's acquired over the years. And this is 236 foot long at a cost of $80 million. should accommodate 12 guests and a crew of 28. He and his family fly on a Gulfstream G5 private jet. The aircraft has a market value of 10 to 15 million and can accommodate up to 12 guests. Next up is Venus, super yacht designed by Philip Stark and built by Feedship for Jobs, Steve Jobs. However, Mr. Jobs died in October 2011. The yacht was unveiled a year later and cost more than $110 million. His widow, Lorraine Jobs, has been seen enjoying this vessel in Cabo, the Caribbean, and the Mediterranean. Venus is 256 feet long and as you can see a very unique design, no surprise there. What is a wonder is that Philippe Stark was given complete design control. The Jobs private jet is a Gulfstream 5 worth over $40 million and paid for by Apple. Here Comes the Sun is a 272 foot super yacht owned by Russian billionaire Alexander Japrich. He has a penchant for yachts and the Beatles. This is his fourth yacht, named after a Beatles song. This gorgeous yacht has all the toys and was built by Amels. This is their largest yacht to date. Alexander is a self-made businessman that got his start in the exploration of oil. He recently split with his wife, who took half of his billions. Here Comes the Sun is available for charter for up to 16 guests and a crew of 27. Top cruising speed of 27 knots. Next up we have Kismet, worth an estimated $200 million. Kismet is owned by Pakistani-American billionaire Shahid Khan. He's a self-made billionaire living the American dream. The word Kismet means destiny or fate in many languages. Kismet can carry 28 crew members at a time and has 8 state rooms which provide a capacity for 16 guests. It's a charter price of $1.2 million per week, excluding food, fuel, and dockage fees. The yacht was rented by Jay-Z and Beyonce during their vacation in Italy. Shahid Khan is a proud owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Mr. Khan is estimated to be worth $10 billion and has four private jets. Nice way to fly. A Tessa 4 super yacht is one of the more commonly seen in Los Cabos. This 332 spectacular floating symbol of style and wealth is owned by Dennis Washington. Mr. Washington is an American billionaire, industrialist, and the wealthiest man in Montana. The luxury yacht is commonly seen anchored just offshore of Mango Deck with all the toys zipping back and forth. He owns properties in Los Cabos and is a welcoming, friendly Cabo resident. He has a few private jets in which to choose, his largest being a Boeing 737-700 for any longer international jaunts. This yacht is a floating mansion with a whopping 354 foot length. It was delivered late last year at the Benetti Builders Yard in Livorno, Tuscany for Australian big boy James Packer. Packer named his latest toy IJE for his three children, Indigo, Jackson, and Emmanuel. So that's the story behind the name. This June he was spotted on the IJE while inspecting his construction of his $50 million oceanfront estate next to the one and only Palmia. Mr. Packer flies to Los Cabos on one of his fleet of Bombardier Global Express XRSs. He purchased three of these for his Crown Resorts and has them for personal use. Anna is a new 361 foot super yacht designed by Michael Leach and built by Feedship. It is owned by a Russian billionaire, Dmitry Rebolov, another Russian oligarch with a penchant for yachting, football, and private jets. Dmitry paid a cool $250 million for this beauty. He's estimated to be worth $7 billion. He made his wealth in fertilizers. He flies in high style in a converted Airbus A319. No pictures of the interior of the yacht nor interiors of his private jet. Motor Yacht A. A is a 390 foot and costs $300 million. This unique style was designed by Philippe Stark and built at the Blom and Voss shipyard. A can accommodate 14 guests in its seven guest cabins and designed for a crew of 35. 
Andrei Melnyshenko is a Russian oligarch. His wife, Alexandra Melnyshenko, is a former singer and model from Serbia. They also fly in their custom Boeing 737-700. And finally, we have Serene, one of the world's largest private super yachts and currently the largest private vessel ever to visit Los Cabos by former owner Yuri Scheffler. The ship was built for Russian Stoli Vodka Tycoon for $330 million. His wife, former supermodel Tatiana Kovalina, and built by Italian shipyard Fincantieri, an interior designed by Raymond Langton Design. Serene can accommodate 24 lucky guests with a crew of 52 for some outstanding luxury yachting style. He zips across the globe in his custom Gulfstream 650. He sold Serene to Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman for a reported $500 million. Well, there you have the largest super yachts to ever visit Cabo. For information on how to charter your own yacht, go to cabosfinest.com. Click play and choose your vessel. Easy as one, two, three. This video is brought to you by Cabo's Finest, your insider's guide to Los Cabos. If you like this video, click subscribe below on your YouTube channel and be sure to visit us on Facebook. You may also like to subscribe to our newsletter on our website. Thank you for watching.